Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions. Eight box, half case, random letter break number one. Uh, first letter, first name, so if you get letter M, yep, Michael Jordans will go to you. It looks like no base card ship, but only inserts, short prints, number cards, and obviously hits will ship. And there's all the letters right there. E gets the letter E and all other letters that are not on that list. Big thanks to this group right here. No fillers here. And uh, and big thanks to the letters for existing right there. We didn't have to do any fillers for this. That's awesome. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and letters. Five and a one, six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six and final time. We got Steve H down to Chris P. We got five and a one, six times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six and final time. We got C down to R. Off to six times. So here's how it shakes out. Remember first letter, first name. Steve with C and T, Chad with W, Alan with J, Andrew with S, Craig with N, David with K, Jeremy with V, Y, Kevin with D, Aaron with P, Mark with E, and all other letters, Scott with B, Eddie with F, uh, Steve with L, Andrew with A, Alan with M, and H, and Chris with R. Let's sort by letter. And while you're considering trades, Let's pop open this case right here and let's see which eight boxes we're going to do. It's sort of an awkward, an awkward case here, but Tommy's not into the fireworks. He's just, I don't know, as a kid, someone else was mentioning this yesterday too. They're like, you know, when you're a kid, these fireworks seem awesome. And then get older, maybe they just become annoying. I feel like, and I mentioned this before, 4th of July kind of falls at a weird time of year on a Tuesday. So I don't know when, like fireworks have just been happening all weekend in LA. So some, some, some places are doing, uh, you know, some places are doing Saturday fireworks, some place did fi Friday fireworks. It just depends on the city or the high school or whatever's having a fireworks show. Some places are doing it tonight, some places are doing it on, on 4th of July proper. All right, so, sorry, let's flip, flip screens right here. Popped open the case, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight on the left side, eight on the right side. We're gonna roll the die We'll go one, two, three for the left eight, four, five, six for the right eight. And that's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these we will save for next time. Set these on the back table here. All right, any trades? Maybe not. Time to print. All right, trade window closed. Let's uh, print and rip. Yes, Justin, these do have these Goodwin Champions boxes do have auto poten autograph potential. There you go. There's the final printout, hot off the presses, TWC, trade window closed. Um, I did have a I think I closed that window. I did have a checklist up though. So I'll drop the checklist in the chat.
And here's what we got. We're looking for historic United States currency relics. Goodwin Platinum variants have returned. Insect manufactured patches. Terrifying. Lady Luck relics. Right, collect six Goodwin, blah, 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 blah. Rookie cards. Lincoln Memorial Dedication coin relics, at least two hits per box. This is not my preferred knife here. I don't know where my... Yeah, I don't think it's an autograph per box. Oh, that's right. I predict puts put stickers on those. Yeah, 3D lenticulars. Sketch auto, sketch cards, all sorts of fun stuff. Five by seven insect relics. I think those are redemptions though, right? No, no thank you. Terrifying. I think that's why uh, it, took a, it took a minute or two for this break to fill because Everyone was terrified of the, the insect potential out of here. Now I know it says no base card ship in the item description. But if it's like Michael Jordan or LeBron James or Tiger Woods, we'll, uh, we'll set those aside. We'll make, sure, we'll make sure they go out. I'll try to catch as many of them as I can. All right, here's box one. Let me actually make myself a little, little space here. All right, we got Mickey Ward, we got some filler cards, LeBron James, we got all sorts of different, but splash of color, that'll ship. And there is a Alex Alcala, 36 out of 499, our first numbered card, going to Andrew with the letter A. There's LeBron right there as well. Oh no, two brutal beats. Herman ended up with five of the six strikeouts that Duncan needed. And Marlins minus one and a half on the run line. Oh. I'm too scared of the minus run line. I rarely do that. What were my picks today? I think I was on the other side of that Marlins one, though. I was on Houston today. Got got a little lucky there. I got I was on St. Louis, which I did not win. And I'm also on whatever happened. And I needed the Yankees, which they did end up winning. All right, nice. Those are my those are all my only plays of the day. They named rookies of the year for swimsuit models. All right, fair enough.
There's Michael Jordan. Will Zala Torres. He's got some he's got some back issues like me. And there's Riley Green, which is a portrait. It's not the actual portrait itself. But there, I think there could be actual proper, like one of one sketch cards of his. And there's our autograph that's Hex. Am I saying that right? You know, someone who's really into esports is like, come on, Joe. Anyone familiar with him? I guess Hector Hex Rodriguez, current co owner and co CEO of NRG Esports, who most passionately focuses his attention on the Call of Duty franchise, Optic Gaming. Got it. Yeah, Scott knows. Then he's been managing players and teams within the esports industry since 2006, according to a, a Google bio. That'll go to H. That'll be for Alan. There he is. There you go. That's going to be a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Should we save the cards? We'll try to make a, a poker hand. I feel like that's going to be a more and more of a thing as, uh, as time goes on. We're working on a straight, ladies and gentlemen. And Caleb Williams. It's the splash of color lenticular. Nice. Right, so I'll go to letter C. That'll be for C of H. That was the first box. We were working on a straight. I don't, we did not get it. Now, Scott's saying there are already some eSports cards. But they're not, not, aren't particularly popular in North America. It's one auto per case, per pack odds. Has it always been like that? I feel like we've always seen more autos than that in general. And it's been a while since I've done a case of Goodwin, so maybe I don't really know. Dodger game just started. Although MLB is doing something cool where they have four different screens up.
It's like MLB Big Inning. Is that what they're calling it? It's sort of like a red zone? Maybe I'll keep it on like this red zone-y channel here. All right. We got Marcelo Mayer, splash of color. Looks like we're uh, working on a on a flush here. Hmm. Another straight, maybe. Caleb Williams, splash of color to 75. That'll be for Steve, letter C. Not numbered for Jose Perdomo. Like this should be numbered, right? It is. Nolan Hickman, two eight sixty eight at two ninety nine. Pink tracks. It'll be for the letter N for Craig. And we've got another autograph, Gaudi autograph. Philneen Salastin. So Jan is saying hard signed Goodwin autographs, one out of every 60 packs, including horizontal, one out of every six, 640 packs, inscribed, one out of every 3,000 packs. So yeah, autos I think are a little more common. Who are we looking for in this set? Michael Jordan autographs, LeBron James autographs, Tiger Woods autographs. I mean, this is the only break on the site or anywhere where you can chase after those. Yeah, Alan's got a letter M. He's looking for uh, for an MJ auto. You know, I think, I think, yeah, I think some of the basketball rookies are in here. You know, maybe some people actually like seeing like those relics, manufactured relics. I think we've got a pair of sixes. That's the best we did here. Yeah, Jan saying Scoot Henderson's in here. There you go. Yeah, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud's in here. Yeah, there, there's some, there's some chases. Rex has seen Scoot autos, Riley Green autos. Maybe some celebrity autos like Natalie Allen Lind. Anyone know her? This is very descriptive. After beginning her career with several guest appearances, Lind has portrayed main characters in television series on some of the biggest networks. That would be cool. Yeah, you don't see a lot of tennis out of here. Maybe some Sharapova. Venus and Serena Williams autographs. 
Golf autographs, Will Zalatoris. I think Alan was saying earlier today when he checked in that um, that he got an Amen Thompson autograph from his uh, from his local card shop. Yeah. Goodwin Champions is a lot like Allen and Ginter, a little more, a little more sportsy. Um, Gypsy Queen's definitely mostly baseball-y, and Allen and Ginter is random. It's just you, you'll you'll get like you'll get like you get mini cards, you'll get like snacks. You know, it'll be like popcorn. No, that'll have some weird, I think we got some sort of relic right there though. Yeah, some of those, uh, there's actually some really, people have built sets from like, from like the old 18, late 1800s, uh, Allen and Ginter sets, which are pretty awesome. Those old tobacco products. Dyson Daniels to Got an exquisite card, 56 out of 149, Scoot Henderson. That's a sharp look there. Letter S, that'll be for Andrew in the letter S. Nice, exquisite Scoot. All right, and we have Oh, that is terrifying. Interesting insects. The the Caletta Silk Moth Caterpillar. Gross. <laughs> um, I don't know how short printed this is. This is IP57. The Silk Moth is in Tier 2. Yes, thank you. Scott looked it up too. Yeah, the, let's learn something today, folks. The Coletta Silk Moth Caterpillar is unlike any other in the world, as its genus contains only one species. Wow. Making it monotypic in, the taxono in taxonomic terms. Exclusive to Mexico, Guatemala, and the American Southwest, the moth spins itself a silky cocoon in its pupil stage and then discards it as an adult. These empty cocoons have ceremonial functions in some Native American cultures. Knowledge. Uh, 
just a pair of twos here? No, twos and fives. Two pair. We'll take it. Take two pair. Onward, next box. So tier one looks like one out of every 96 packs. Tier two, one out of every 210. Oh, and this will go to letter C, by the way. The Coletta Silk Mod, that's for Steve H. Yes, that's right, Scott, you do have the letter B. Yeah, Black Widow Spider, tier five. That's the shortest printed tier, the most rare tier. You got yeah. You got to root for a black widow spider. That just gave me uh, this gave me tingles. S scared it tingles. I feel like there's a black widow crawling on me right now. Do you think the spider or the Bryce Young will be a clear time? I well, I mean, considering how rare the Black Widow spider manufactured insect relic is, I, I feel like it would be that. Maybe they, maybe it is my spidey sense. All right, I think that's our first face card that we've gotten. There's Gretzky, four ninety nine orange prism. W, Chad, with Wayne. T for Tiger, Steve H. Yeah, we got that exquisite card, Andrew. Now an auto? That would be nice. Will Zalatoris. We got a Steve, uh, a Steven Bergwine, rainbow green. I thought that might have been numbered, but still nice. Still going to S. And we got a nice Henry Davis flash of color, 3D lenticular. You can see his uh, good hip rotation there. That's going to go to H Allen. And an autograph, a uh, swimmer. Mike Halo, Romanshook. I'm assuming uh, this has to be 
I mean, he wouldn't be in here unless he's like a gold medalist, right? He's a Ukrainian swimmer and uh, medaled in the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. A silver in the 1500 meter freestyle and a bronze in 800 meter freestyle. Letter M, that goes to Alan. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. Did I post the next second half? I might have forgotten to do that, but I'll do that after, right after this break. All right, can't forget about Ben Simmons. He's, you know, back when Ben Simmons was a rookie, what, 2016 maybe? Um, it was, uh, his autos were and still are, I believe, exclusive to Upper Deck. And he was a hot commodity. He was hobby hot back then. And so I remember like even pulling like Ben Simmons base cards, you know, say out of prison basketball or something like that, would be a ton of money. I remember, I think there was a National Treasures Ben Simmons base card back then that was maybe to 25 or to 10 or something like that, sold for thousands of dollars. Got got uh, got hobby cold. Although the first few couple seasons, I feel like there was promise there. He's Justin saying he's the one LSU auto I don't own. And we know that we know that Justin is a big LSU fan, so that's saying something. But I feel like he started off okay. There was some promise there. There's some skill that we saw there, even though the shooting wasn't wasn't that great. But then kind of injuries derailed him, and then I think just and it kind of got maybe got in his own head. It's Bergwine that is numbered to four ninety nine. It's even Bergwine going to Andrew. Letter S. Yeah, and then the yeah the injuries kind of got him, and then. And then that, that was that. And I feel like pressure compounded every, every shot, was like living and dying with every shot and just couldn't really find confidence. And I don't know. We'll, we'll see how he does this season. He's still kind of young, right? It's Tiger Woods. Kate Bach, rainbow blue. Going to David in the letter K. There's a Marcelo Meyer, a reproduction. But in color. Nice. Nice colors there. And we got Danny de Andrade. Autograph. I'm not sure what team he plays for. I think he's a prospect, but I feel like I've seen his name. Maybe a twin. Twins organization, maybe? Someone will look that up. There he is. There's Ben Simmons. We're talking about it. And that's a kind of a cool sweater, though. <laughs> With a flock of sheep on his on his sweater. Is he, is he suggesting that he is a shepherd? Yeah, I'm just saying maybe year 10. 
Ben Simmons will get past the yips. Got a Nolan Hickman, 3D lenticular. Going to the letter N. A Sewer Thompson, Bron James. Oh, he's just part of the sheet, Gabe's thinking. All right, I think we got a uh, got pair of tens. Duncan is asking, is rookie size and NBA determined by games played? Yes. The second you play one single game, you are no longer a rookie. It just takes one. So, for example, back when Julius Randle was drafted by the Lakers, he played one game, and then I think he blew out his ACL or something like that. And, um, and that's it, but he was no longer rookie eligible the next, like no longer eligible for like rookie of the year awards or anything like that the following season, even though he only played one game. So, for example, Chet Holmgren, right, who didn't play a single NBA game because his injury was in the offseason, he is still a rookie coming into his second year. So, yeah, exactly. Justin took the words right out of my mouth. That's why Chet Holmgren, with you know a year under his belt, has kind of gotten used to the league without having to really play, right? So he's kind of, you know essentially redshirted his first year, but kind of got the whole flavor and experience, right? As, you know, I'm sure has been in film rooms and has absorbed all the all the plays that OKC's running and blah, 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 blah. So now he just, oh, just has to run out there and play. And that could be a great play for Rookie of the Year. So he'll be a rookie. Keep seeing the post where he went from 195 to 208. Check. I mean, he was kind of skinny, right? Right. Hard to be that tall and weighing so little. I mean, that extra meat on the bones. That's got to be good, too. He's on an NBA nutrition plan. How do they count summer league games? Sub Grizzlebees. They don't. They're just, they're, I mean, they're exhibition games. I mean, same as, same as a preseason game. They don't count to any of your official stats. Here's Dyson Daniels, pink tracks to 299. That'll be for Kevin in the letter D. Got Ken Griffey Jr. Rainbow Red. Going to David in the letter K. Tiger for Steve in the letter T. LeBron James for the letter L. That will be for Steve. Steve H. Also with these LeBrons here as well. Do I like the one and done college rule? Chilo's asking. I don't. I think if I had if 
I had my uh, druthers, I would have it be zero, college, or three. I think that would help college basketball. It's Peyton Watson. And now that with the NIL stuff, Aaron Billingsley. Now with the NIL stuff, I mean they can those they can still get paid. And we've got a Kennedy Chandler autograph. An upper deck top prospects autograph. That's cool. A four ninety nine. Or two, I can I can compromise with two. I say zero or two, but even two I think would help college basketball. Nice, uh, Kennedy, letter K, David O. Or three, Justin Day. I, I can roll with three as well. But I think uh, you know. It's good for development too. Could have working on a flush there. It could have been a. Uh, you know, I think it, it would benefit the players. I think it would benefit col college sports, right? The biggest complaint I get, especially with college basketball, is like people are like, "Yeah, you can't really." You can't really fall in love with these teams because they're they're here for whatever how long the basketball season is and they're gone, you know. So you can't really get to know these college players, get to know their personalities, and kind of craft a team and see them all play together as a as a unit. Kind of seeing that I think is kind of cool, you know. And it's good for college basketball and good when the tournament rolls around. It could even be rivalries made, you know, developing between two different players as well. Wow. Grizzlebees is watching 12 box case recaps at 0.5 speed, and it sounds like I had six beers. Ooh, another thick card here. All right, you want to be able to root for a team. Absolutely, Scott. Ooh, I know. We got a World Traveler card too. That's why the SEC hates the NIL because big schools like LSU, Bama, Gator, Donald lose money for their football programs. I think SEC actually loves the NIL. They're not paying for it, the boosters are. <laughs> for those NIL deals, the school's not paying for it. So if they get their rich boosters to come out and recruit five star players. I kind of like this red zone-y thing that's happening here. It's nice, right? Yeah. I'd, I'd watch baseball like this. All right, ooh, there's Tiger Woods. Let's see if we can make something out of that. Starting with an ace, that's good. Oh, an ace three, that's not good. Don't like the ace three. A little bit of a straight draw. Mm -hmm. tough, do you like holding, Joe? I do. I do. I do play the poker you here. Have a there. Card night here. You should have a card night. I always thought of having like a sort of a charity Ooh. casino night. I do love charity, and I do love casinos. So I love nights. It's Caleb Williams, letter C. That's for Steve. Do you have any idea who she is? What she acts in? Look at the, read the back of the card. Look how nondescript that back of that copy is. Like they didn't have any trademark. <laughs> they weren't allowed to use any of the names of the shows or the oh, networks. Yes, of course. Hit shows. 
on some of the biggest networks. Yeah, of course. I mean, how, how could you not know who that is? Right, right. Oz, Oz. Here's World Traveler, Mexico City. A place that I would like to go someday. It's a map relic going to letter M. Alan with Mexico City. Yeah, Gilo, MLB Big Inning. Go to the go to the MLB Network. They're doing some like red zone style. At one point, they had six games going on at once. I think it's when they have like runners on base. They'll call it a potential big inning or if a key batter is up. This break brought to you by MLB Network. Presenting MLB Big Inning. Watch all the hottest action from the league's games wow. around the country on one there you go. stream. There you go. Rex is saying many girls named at charity are hot. I've never known a person over under the age of 65 to be named charity. So if that's your thing, Rex, I mean, that's... I don't think I've ever met a charity ever. That's, that's cool. Oh, a bug! An insect coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a terrifying, terrifying insect. An interesting what, insect. Oh, what, what creepy... I'm just getting the creepy crawlies right now. Ugh, gross. What, what are you? Ugh. Ugh. Really Ugh. Interesting insects. More like disgusting insects. It's the fruit fly. Ugh. Letter F, Eddie, with fruit flies. Gross. Um, this is IP20. This might be a more common one. Yeah, this is this is tier one, but still. I guess it's interesting. You, the fruit flies are a common pest, often found hovering around table fruit, sinks, and trash cans. Gross. Often too small and numerous to swat in submission. They have inspired countless remedies, including implementing bowls of soapy water. I've tried that. I've done this too, glass of apple cider vinegar, and even some of the world's favorite adult beverages. Whatever you try, good luck getting rid of them. Ugh. Disgusting. So real quick. Yeah. For these breaks, all the insects and maps, they go to the first letter. So first letter, it's, this is this break is first letter, first name. Okay. I mean, I can't, I can't get any more clear than that, right? I agree. Okay, all right. Fair, stay fair. Uh, we got got a pair of tens. They're also, I think it's, they gave us six cards, too. All right, final box coming up. So I you could shop for having six cards. I think, yeah, that's true. I think That's probably most places, if not think, all of them. I mean, in Old Vegas, absolutely. In Old Vegas, <laughs> like the movie Casino, a lot of holes in the desert. I'd probably go and I'd have like a, put into a coma if I ate this, right, Joe? I would shouldn't eat all this. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you might, you, you, your blood sugar, maybe. Well, you could, you can break that up, get a, a hammer to it. I don't, think, I don't think it's a good idea. Sometimes if I, if I, uh, if I, when I go to Vegas with friends or family and they're annoying me, I look them dead in the eye and say, a lot of holes in the desert. Wow. They get the picture. You know, and I try to use my best Joe Pesci voiceover voice. I don't think I can ever do Pesci voice. I think my voice is too nasally. No, it's, I can't, can't do it either. But you gotta think Pesci. You gotta think Pesci and be like, a lot of holes in the desert. I think that's the scene where him and Robert De Niro are meeting in the desert. A great wide shot by Scorsese on that one.
Rex went to school with a charity. So now that you saw one attractive, one attractive charity, and now Rex is declaring all of them attractive. I mean, that's just I statistics, mean, really. I get it. That's, that's, that's like rec stats. Out of 299, Tiger Woods, Splash of Color, Tracks Parallel, Steve H, letter T. Gilo saying Charity is a common child's name. I don't feel like that's true at all. I mean, eventually they turn to adults, right? <laughs> then it would still be Charity. And then it, then it would be a common adult name at that point. All right, you said many, but you've only seen one charity. <laughs> Here's Josephine Scriver. Scriver smiled and held a pineapple on a picture of Perfect Beach. For her first swim cover for Volume 2 of Victoria's Secret Swim Catalog in 2016. Probably too old for Leo. Oh, and there's Brian Acuna, Ronald's brother. Twins organization, Brian Acuna? Yes. Or Rangers. Luis Angel is in, with the Rangers. Brian Acuna going to Scott in the letter B. Question is, do uh, does anyone name their kids Karen anymore? I don't think so. Well, I'll bet, I mean, I'm, I'll bet people do, but I'm sure we should see, um, I'm sure there's like, you know, people that that track these names and name databases. I'll bet it went down significantly. I'll bet instance of, of, of you know, people named Karen after the year 2020 probably fallen 55% or something like that. All right, what else we got to finish this off? We got Marcelo Meyer, the 3D splash of color lenticular. And that, my friends, is that. A nice little Goodwin Champions break in the books. That was our last hand here. And our last hand, I think it's good. I think we got we got a pair of queens. Oh, okay. queens and sevens, two pair. So two pair, okay. That's our. Nice. That's I think that's our best hand of the night. I think we had a pair of tens and fives in another break, but sevens and queens are nice here. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Quick little recap. We got the Disgusting Fruit Fly. We got a World Traveler here. We got, I guess this is not as disgusting. The the Caletta Silk Moth. No, Scoot Henderson nice. Exquisite. I guess moths are kind of gross, right? No but that one but that one produces silk, though, so I don't know. Yeah, All right, thanks, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next Goodwin Champions Break. Bye-bye.